system running right now. Just going to give you an overview of it. centrifuge spinning down and as you can see the pressure is zero yeah, you can hear me now as I said this was the uh, pump I'm running off it uh, off a dishwasher motor uh, let's see if we can see it underneath here A little half horsepower motor has a four inch pulley on it and it's turning a Hyundai power steering pump. I forget what year and uh, what engine it came off of. I was just in the auto records and I figured I'd pick one up. So my suction side is that red hose and it goes into the bottom of uh, the barrel sitting next to it and the high pressure hose comes off that banjo fitting and uh, into the bottom of this stack here and I've got a uh, shutoff valve on the intake you can see in there and here's my stack so it comes in here goes up to here where it tees off to my pressure regulator and uh, return to the barrel and this is my return from the top barrel where the centrifuge is here you can follow the stack up Notice there's a couple of unions in there. I highly recommend those for working on the system. And into the centrifuge. As you can see, it's got the barrel adapter. I used to have it hooked up into my open barrel. This one over here. And you can see where it was bolted up there. And I cut a hole in the, the lid so I could put it on there. But I wanted to use this uh, barrel as my uh, drying barrel. So I put uh, a heating element out of an old dryer, clothes dryer. You can see that the heating element uh, in there. You can see it in the back a bit too. Or in the front and back, whatever. Um, so that's the stock uh, dryer um, wire with the connector so I've wired up a uh, the appropriate connector with armored cable all the code on a 30 amp breaker and uh, my panel so it goes, goes over there and uh, so we just have a maybe a closer look at this here Let's take it off another open barrel so the return just in here I put a hose on here because it was tending to spray or not spray but splash it, when it ran in here even though it was well in into the barrel it would splash and make a mess here and, and now my floor is actually pretty clean so I'm happy with that you can see I've got these little dollies uh, to sit the barrels on and uh, my first iteration they were just hard stands but the second iteration has casters and that helps me move this stuff around and uh, there you can see how the the, uh, the bottom of the barrel outtake there, or input to the pump is is there. So I can uh, change them out just by changing the hoses easily now. And I put this little safety thing here on, the, so I can't accidentally turn that valve on and make a mess of the garage. Uh, no, I haven't done that yet. And uh, I read on uh, the All Black Diesel site that they should be in a contained unit, and I highly agree. Um, as well, I've got a bunch of fire extinguishers. That's my safety portion. There's one. There's another one. Uh, there's a couple more kicking around here. Uh, there's one over there. And there's the other one. Uh, I guess that's about it. Uh, any questions, uh, ask me.